In patients with diabetes, glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonists have been shown to reduce the risk of adverse cardiovascular events. Now a new trial provides needed data on whether one of these agents, semaglutide, also provides cardioprotective benefits in adults with overweight or obesity without diabetes. In this international double-blind placebo-controlled randomized trial, 17,604 patients with pre-existing cardiovascular disease and overweight or obesity, but without diabetes, were assigned to receive 2.4 mg of subcutaneous semaglutide, or placebo, once weekly. At a mean follow-up of 39.8 months, the primary efficacy endpoint, a composite of death from cardiovascular causes, non-fatal myocardial infarction, or non-fatal stroke in a time-to-first event analysis, occurred in 6.5% of the semaglutide group and 8.0% of the placebo group, a statistically significant difference. The first confirmatory secondary endpoint, death from cardiovascular causes, was similar between groups but directionally favored semaglutide over placebo. Other endpoints, including a heart failure composite endpoint and death from any cause, were not tested for superiority to placebo, but also directionally favored semaglutide. More patients discontinued semaglutide than placebo owing to adverse events, a result that was largely driven by a higher frequency of gastrointestinal symptoms with semaglutide. The authors conclude that in patients with pre-existing cardiovascular disease and overweight or obesity, but without diabetes, once-weekly subcutaneous semaglutide was superior to placebo in reducing the incidence of a composite endpoint of adverse cardiovascular events at a follow-up of approximately 40 months. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.